at the ITS group have developed an app for you with which you can very easily determine cubages and the resulting masses and volumes using different variants. And all this with a standard iPhone or iPad. The app is easy to operate and can be used without additional hardware. When you start the app, you select the appropriate measuring method for your acquisition task. Various workflows adapted to the acquisition task are available in the app. Acquisition of piles, trenches or pits, volume through cross profiles, or simply scanning creating a point cloud. At the beginning of the measurement, the iPhone or iPad is initialized by a short back and forth swivel. The device is now ready for measurement. In the next step, a boundary polygon is drawn around the pile or pit. This polygon serves on one hand to delimit the measuring area. On the other hand, a three-dimensional base area is created with the measured points as height horizon. The measured polygon is always visible in the augmented reality view. Now, a point cloud within the boundary polygon is generated by a laser scanner integrated in the iPhone or iPad. During the measurement, it is possible to take georeference photos of the situation at any time. From this point cloud and the boundary polygon, the volume of the scanned body is automatically calculated after the measurement is completed. Now you still have the possibility to select the scanned material. The specific weights are stored in the database. In the end, all generated values, the volume of the pit or pile, the material, the estimated mass and the maximum height are now summarized in a protocol. In addition, it is possible to display the measured point cloud as a 3D color or grid model. Different views of this model can also be saved. The measured data, photos and PDF sketches can now be exported. Here you have the possibility to save all data as a package in a zip file or to automatically generate an email and send it directly. All measured data can be delivered in different formats, for example, CSV, E57 or GeoJSON. At the end of Digital Bau 2020, one of our employees got to know ITS system. The system was then demonstrated to us by Mike Ekenik. As soon as I saw it for myself, it was immediately clear to me that it is exactly the system we need for our site management to facilitate their work processes.